Astos then is just up ahead on the right, which was Linda Thompson's home, although Linda obviously spent most of her time at Graceland with Elvis in the 70s. He bought her this home in April 1975. Their relationship ended in November 76 and Linda eventually sold the house in 1981. Come here to Huntsville Runaway to Muscle Shoals this morning, Alabama. I'm just on a brief stop here. Huntsville is on the way, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to stop off quickly at the Von Braun Centre here in Huntsville. Because this was a concert hall that Elvis played several times in the 70s. First time was in May 75, it was the start start of his second tour of the year. Uh, this was on Friday 30th of May 1975. But he played three three days on the trot at this auditorium. The, he played one show on the 30th, two shows on the Saturday, and then another two shows on the Sunday 1st of June. The recordings that he made here on the Saturday night have been released um, on the fall of that dream CD Dixieland Delight it's called and that was recorded here at the Von Braun Centre. So we're here again at the, the old Memphis Fairgrounds, the Mid-South Coliseum. Elvis was Back here at the Mid-South Coliseum, 10th of June 1975. Uh, his, that current tour he was on at that time, the last date of the tour was here at the Mid-South Coliseum. And that performance uh, forms the second CD of the Follow That Dream release, Hometown Shows. So you've uh, got a two CD set there, one with a 1974 performance and one with a 75 performance. This is the site of formerly Madison Cadillac, which until 66 was called Southern Motors or Southern Cadillac. It's a photo of Elvis coming through the gates there with his crew in his jumpsuit. Anyway, it was here that uh, Elvis bought the, the famous pink Cadillac in the 50s. And he bought many, many Cadillacs over the years. Most of them came from this dealership that stood here. Most famously, perhaps, bought by in 14 Cadillacs in one day in 1975. Actually giving one to a, a lady that just happened to be peering through the window, looking at the Cadillacs at the time. And Elvis came out and basically handed her a set of keys for a brand new Cadillac. That was here on Union. Union years ago used to be full of car dealerships just running the length of Union. They've all mainly moved further out outside from downtown now.
is a super cycle shop. Ah, oh, super cycles is closing. It's been open for 47 years. Elvis became a customer here in 1975 and bought many of his bikes and trikes from the shop. Yeah, Elvis became a regular customer in the last two years, last two years, 18 months or so of his life. And super cycles, obviously no, no longer if they're not uh, if they're not trading, but. Uh, Supercycles did maintain all the bikes and trikes on display in the Elvis Presley Auto Auto Museum. Auto Museum. So it's actually closing for business. So that'll be a, another old Elvis site on the Memphis Elvis's Memphis route. Perhaps to be chalked off. Really summary. The Convair 880 Jet, originally owned by Delta Airlines. This one, Elvis bought in '75, and uh, I think he ended up spending spending more on customization than he actually paid for the plane. So the TCB logo on the. Tail. Hey,